What is meant by, torsional stress? Once you wash your clothes, it will be so wet. In order to make it dry, you would squeeze them. With a certain amount of force applied to it. Now, while squeezing, the cloth will be twisted in the clockwise direction on one side, and anti-clockwise on the opposite side. While twisting, both the side of the cloth meet at a point, where the twisting moment develops. And it is known as, torsional stress. Consider a car, which is in motion. Normally, steering wheel controls the car movement. If the steering wheel is steady, the car moves in a linear direction. When you are about to turn, you apply a force to the steering wheel, which tends to turn the car in the desired direction. The steering wheel rotates along its axis, depending upon the direction of the force applied. This is known as, axis of rotation, due to the external force applied. The force applied on the steering wheel, about its axis, is called, twisting couple, which is also known as, twisting moment. After a long drive, getting back to your home, and watching your favorite show on time, would be a wonderful feeling. For the consciousness, you will have a look at the clock, hanging in the wall. Here, the pendulum is a weight, attached to a wire or thread. And the torsional oscillation, makes the suspended weight to twist in one direction, and then in the reverse direction in a horizontal plane. This mechanism is called as, torsional pendulum. Pendulum clocks are the best example of, torsional pendulum, which works by the principle of, torsional oscillation. The torsional pendulums are used to mechanically calculate the time, depending upon the length and weight, suspended in the torsion spring. Normally, when a force is applied to an object, it tends to deform. Consider a man, standing on a diving board, planning to dive into the pool. The elasticity of the board is an example of, bending of beams. A force applied to the longitudinal axis of the board, would tend to elongate, or compress the board. A force applied to the lateral axis, would try to revert the board back to the original position. This process is known as, bending of beams. Similarly, consider the same diving board, or a window slab, fixed at one end, and free at the other end, which is nothing but the cantilever beam. Normally, cantilever beam deflects, if the load is not withstood by the cantilever beam. Cantilever bridges are built using these type of beams, which does not have a central support or pillar, with a moving space between the two ends.